Hi guys and thanks for watching again. Today I will be taking a look at this very cheap Chinese wireless charging pad. And they are currently available at eBay for around 2-3 dollars maybe. And they are QY compatible. That would mean it is compatible with my phone. This is a Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. And also I normally record videos with this one. But since I needed to demonstrate this <laughs> uh, to to charge this, uh, this phone with this charging pad, I used my previous phone which is a Galaxy S4 for the recording. And as you can see my desk consists of a rather wide screenshot from an old MSX uh, game. Um, I'm not gonna say which, ga which game it is right now but this here is a power up for this game. And just outside of the camera on that side there is another power up which I used to place a QY pad below so every time, every time I put my phone on this power up it will actually power up. So and of course I used a good quality power up for this one and uh, not such a Chinese cheap one over here. So let's see what this can do. I put in the micro USB to power up the charging pad and actually I'll see if I can get it in focus with this camera. Um, there we go. Uh, it is. It says it's a wireless charging pad. Input is 5 volts, and it requires 1500 milliamps, uh, 1500 milliamps. Um, and so I put it in the 2.1 amp uh, output port of this power bank, which I made in one of my previous videos. I'll turn it on, and then put the phone on there, and there it starts charging. It's currently at 93 percent. So. And it's drawing 200 milliamps, 170 milliamps, and that's all it does. There, the, and there you see, <laughs> it just restarts the charging. Uh, at least the phone thinks the charging is restarted. I don't know exactly why. Maybe this path thinks the amount of of um, uh, uh, the current amount of amps is not enough so it restarts or anything like that but it only does that when the, the phone is near full currently it's at 93 percent and every time uh, uh, when the phone is empty uh, at 20 percent or something it, it works until probably around 80 90 percent and then it starts doing this it all the time even when the screen is turned off you see the red indicator light are indicating that it is charging but then it goes off and goes on again and I've tried different power banks I've tried uh, the uh, normal Samsung charger of course I've tried everything but nothing seems to work I probably need to place the phone back on, on their back again and there we go oh there we go now it's oh no <laughs> that was just it starts flickering because the voltage dropped way way too low but this is a new one this is a new thing for this charger at this capacity at least 4.5 volts and it stays it's stable right now so let's see let's try the other power bank again Let's try the 1 amp port. Why not? Put the phone back on there. And there we go in the old process of restarting the charge. So let's try this powering again. Do I need to lift the phone? Yes, I do. There we go. Turn off the screen. No. It was just a lucky shot, probably, that it went to 800 milliamps of charging. Let's see if we can get that again. Now it's doing nothing anymore. <laughs> oh, 
I believe I just made it angry. There we go. Oh, it, there we go again. One amp. No. <laughs> so, let's see if I can get the Samsung charger over here. Uh, one moment. So, I went for my uh, Samsung charger over here. And when I came back, it started charging at 800 milliamps. Oh. But it will probably stop any time now and then go into this pulsing cycle of not charging and, and charging and not charging. So, let's see. See if I can get this in camera. That looks better. Already. One, one, whoa! No, there we go again. So, yeah. see one more time before it st starts dropping there we go it stops no not yep there we go again so yeah this is doesn't matter what type of charger or power bank I get it does th the same thing every time over and over again when the phone is at near full capacity so let's pry this open get this out of the way and this is a spudger and I really really love the English word for this the spudger, and I believe we in, in the Netherlands we don't have do not have a word for this, but I like the English word for it. And of course, I bought these on eBay. So, so this is it. Um, this is probably the charging coil, probably at the back side of this metal plate. It's loose in there don't know why but there's also some double sided ad adhesive stuff over here which of course is not used <laughs> okay um, and there is an two color LED over here if I'm not mistaken there's actually a tiny tiny hole over there uh, oh my camera is a little different position than normally but the LED seems to be broken off. Let's see if it works. No, it doesn't do anything. So that's broken. And let's see if I can get this out. It's fairly loose in there. One screw was all. And this is the charging coil. So that's all there is. And there's some electronics over here. Uh, of course. Some ICs. And they have markings. But this is just way too, too complex. Uh, but th the way it works is, uh, is, is like this. When I put my phone on here, it, it detects this, this electronic this magnetic field and it starts a kind of handshake it says hey, hey I'm a phone and the, this part says I'm a charger and then they negotiate about the current they can uh, this one can deliver and this one wants to take and as soon as that is finished it starts the charge so that's a, in a nutshell how this, this QI uh, charging works so let's see if it still works when it's plugged and when it's outside of its box USB cables. I love them. But the LED doesn't do shit. So there we go. There we go. 800 milliamps. So it's still at 93%, so it didn't do much uh, for that, but and probably the LED will be flashing red or lighting blue or anything because that would be a two color LED by the look of it and now it is charging it isn't stopping so 
this power bank seems to have get the best best results <laughs> for the, this this cheap Chinese charger for now, or this is a lucky shot. I don't know, but yeah, it, I cannot use this charger for 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 this phone. Pro I don't know. Yeah, that there of course there is some all kinds of power like regulating electronics inside the phone, so it it won't damage it uh, by using this cheap Chinese stuff, but. It's not great either. So, yeah, it's nice to look at. Uh, nice to see that there is a broken LED inside, and nothing is really warm, or well, warmish. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.